Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to part 4 of my Let's Play of Cyrillim 2. So last time we wanted to finish our blacksmith and I quit and saved but unfortunately we didn't stay in the realm so now we have to go back to our realm in order to finish the last... how much is it? 52 points for our blacksmith. That's a bit unfortunate but at least now in the meantime we can summon uh, two monsters because I want to get rid of the last one. He wasn't really performing up to standards, I thought. Um, this guy here. Um, I guess... Unequip artifacts. Yes. Does he have any spell gems? No, good. Because then I'm going to get rid of him. Yes, summon a creature. What should we summon? Berserk of Fiend is nice, because it has always Berserk, which means you do 100% more damage and you gain 50% more damage as well. So you're more vulnerable, but you also deal a lot of damage. But I have that fortress that can tank quite well, so I think this one might be worth summoning. Yes, thank you. And then another one. So I could do the Ebony End, which basically gives my creatures regeneration. And after it kills a creature, it recovers health. Mwah. I can attack allies to increase their speed. Well, this might be nice together with the Berserker, but probably battles aren't long enough yet for that. But it might be a good choice. Um, after this creature extracts a core from an enemy, it permanently transforms into a different type of golem. This type of golem depends on the creature that was extracted. Interesting. At the start of each enemy's turn, this creature deals damage to them equal to 10% of its attack. At the start of each creature's turn, this recovers 50% of its missing health. I think I'll go for the iron golem, just because it sounds very interesting that you can get different types of golems depending on what you extract. So let's try that out. Oh, I don't have enough resources. That's a bit too bad. Well, then we just stick with this guy. Ah, I need 400 more. Alright, well, then we're just going to kick some ass. Yes, depth 4. Sure. Ooh, probably another god. Ah, he's here. That looks like Vetrak, the one that was at the beginning of the game. And it is! Fancy seeing you again! I am surprised to see you back here in Eternity's End so soon, Wervin. As you know, this is my realm. You can summon me at my altar at any time. Other realms are governed by different god and goddesses, but you can summon them in the same way nonetheless. Seek out these deities and earn their favor. They are formidable allies. And it's always better to have a god on your side than against it. There's a plane passing by, I hope it doesn't disturb the microphone too much. Ooh, we got a realm quest here, yeah, nice. Ooh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, let's see if there's some monsters ahead. Got some granite, that's nice. Ooh, hello. Ooh, that Minotaur I want. I already have a mummy, I think, right? Yeah. Um, well, you can get rid of the mummy first. There we go. Then I'll try to get rid of this guy. And now I just have to hope that I don't kill the Minotaur at once. He's wounded heavily. That should be okay. Nope. But at least I have some... <laughs> He's getting stronger and stronger. There we go. Because the special ability of a Minotaur is after this creature is attacked, it gains 25% attack, so you better kill it quickly. That's actually quite nice if you can somehow, I guess, buff it up and give it provoke, so that people actually attack it. Uh, also I need crystal. Yes, alright. And there is our blacksmith. Yay! Well, we will first finish this little area. The Sun Sphere! Ooh, overcome its trial. No, the <laughs> first one might be to level up more. Eh, alright. 
led by a stronghold. Look at all the buffs they have. Taunt, mend, grace, mend, 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 mend. Grace is a bit annoying, because then I don't hit as much. Hmm, what to attack first? I'm thinking the Gorgon or the Minotaur, but I'll, I'll go for the Gorgon. It does a lot of damage normally. Or it can stun me, sorry. Oh, alright, that worked. Then, get rid of this guy. Come on. Yeah, but the end doesn't do anything. And massive damage if target is a chaos creature. Well, that's chaos creature. And pass twice. Awesome. Hooray! Perfect. A stronghold doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, what can you do? You can just attack something. Yeah, attack this guy. No. Uh, let's see. Yes. Ah, uh, he's provoking everything. Ah. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. I'm tired of you now. You're not supposed to provoke. Only mine is allowed to do that. Um, let's see. Attack this guy. He's unscathed. Oh, this one then. So he keeps healing everyone. Oh, it's so nice to have a tank. Though I guess you are missing out on a lot of damage because of that. There we go. Yeah, my Berserker is now level 5, the rest is level 9 or 10. So, not too bad. Ooh, gloves. Dodge. Start battle with Grace, that's nice. A flick confused when hit, less damage taken from chaos. Well, not bad. Uh huh. Yeah, I guess I should give something to my um, chaos fiend. Critical strike chance. That might actually be nice because he does a lot of damage already. Um, more speed might also be nice. And all those extra things. This also has extra speed. I think I'll go for this. It also gives me some extra essence. There we go. And... What other spell gems do I have? Suffocation, silence... Maybe I should give some to my... This guy here. Target to gain shell and 30% attack. Cast twice. Cool, so when this guy gets hit, I have a chance to cast Molten Armor, which is nice. Hopefully not on <laughs> my um, the person that attacked me, but let's see. Granites. I wish I had that AoE dude from Cyril and Bunny. He was really nice. More granites. I tend to like AoE attacks, especially in the beginning of games when things don't have so much health yet. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Well, you might one shot some things, but you didn't. This is going swimmingly. Perfect. And then I'll... Oh, I didn't get that one yet. Oh, I keep one-shotting them. 308! What? That's kind of insane. Two creatures and the offspring they'll produce if they breed. Any wyvern? Any harpy, a wyvern wind rider, because that makes total sense. Awesome. Mm. 
Let's see, yeah, uh, I guess I'll just kill everything here and then go back and see if my blacksmith is ready. Or, I know it's ready. Let's see what we can build afterwards. So I might just fast forward. Uh, let's see, Gem of Dark Ritual. Target ally is killed and the caster gains 50% of its attack, intelligence and defense. What? Interesting. <laughs> you just kill one of your guys, but then you get really strong. Ha! That's cool. There must be a good use for that. But of course it cost you a turn to cast. Did it have any... Um, extras, properties? No, no properties. Like not cast on hit or something. Holy Explosion! Enemies take a moderate amount of damage. Damage increased by 46%. 18% chance to cast and hit. That's not bad at all. But it is... A light one. Do I have a light creature? I think that guy is a light creature. The guy I wanted to replace. Or... Yes. There we go. Cast on hit is always nice. Ooh, this is probably another challenge. Let's see if I can bring my fiend up level up first. And this one. I'm liking this Chaos Beast. It does a ton of damage even though it's underleveled. Of course it's also very sensitive. So, well, I have at least my fortress that will keep him, should keep him fairly healthy. All of my rituals Gained 441 energy. Well, that's too bad, because I just finished my ritual. But that's good to know for next time. So the purple orbs only take when you have a ritual. Treasure map! Ooh! It seems to reveal the location of buried treasure in this very same realm. X marks the spot. Alright, let's search for that. That's cool. I don't think that was in Surly 1. Uh oh. Yeah, no. Nothing here. Yeah, so the X should pop up on my map if I read it correctly. Oh. Ooh! Whoa! Two, di two new ones. Let's kill this one first. <laughs> then. Interesting. Impact, sir. What does he do? Your creatures can cost shell bust and it costs zero mana, which I guess gets rid of shell. Alright, um Ah, oh, too much damage. I kind of want my Gorgon to attack him, so maybe I should just try to extract him. Now the stronghold can attack him, he doesn't do that much damage. Seven. Not sure that's enough, but he's already lightly wounded. Otherwise, we're never gonna get him. We keep killing him. There we go. Hooray! And he missed. Perfect. Cool! Another core! Brimsmith and Unicorn is Crystal Smith. Sure. Ah, there's another one. Uh, okay. 100 and something damage. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, sure. Ah, oh. he's doing a lot of damage as well. He's probably got a lot of intelligence. Um, brimstone. Ah, here's X. Uh, you dug up the buried treasure. Ooh. Apocalypse plus occultus is vital clutcher. Gem of Mind Blast. Inflicted with stun. That's actually quite nice. I 
gain splash on hit, nice. Gloves, righteous winds. Gain berserk when hit. Hmm. Not sure if righteous winds is in here. Um, no traits? No. No, I'll have to figure out what that does. Um, now the question is, do I want to try and kill that... Um, mana cost reduce, cast some hit... Um, now the question is, do I want to try to kill that boss? And I think I will. The only thing that I'm going to lose if I lose is um, power. So that's actually okay. I mean, I'd rather not lose it. Oh, I can't enter it anymore. Hmm. Alright. Well, that solves that problem. Then I guess I just go back, go to my blacksmith. What does he have to say? Ooh, another ball. Powerful relic will grant your creatures leech, but will disappear if you leave this realm. And I gained favor because I collected all these things. Nice. Perfect. Good time to go back then. Uh, teleport back to Serlem. Alright. Yay, blacksmith. You can forge new artifacts for me. Convert unwanted artifacts into raw materials. Nice. Yeah, you can spend an endless amount on that. I used to do that in Serenum 1 as well. Completed your construction ritual. Well done, though. Perhaps next time you'll choose someone a bit less. Well, I can't quite put my finger on it exactly. Go and visit him for yourself. You'll see what I mean. Alright. Sounds interesting. That's a cool looking guy. Salvage, mass salvage. No. As you approach the blacksmith, he spots you from a distance and immediately begins to stare at you. The final moment before reaching his anvil and nothing less than awkward as he carefully studies your every movement. Hello there, you must be King Will Riven. Pleasure to serve you and I'm most honored to live in the beautiful kingdom of Cyrilim. You're most welcome. He winks at you with his left eye, quickly followed by his right. What can I do for you? Shall I forge you a mighty weapon? Or perhaps I should reforge some of the treasure you found in the wild? No. Mm, although, I guess, let's look at our artifacts. We have this level 2 rings. Or oh, here, the staff is probably not worth that much. Death shield. I will keep. I don't know if there's any strong death bosses or something. Um, salvage staff. Okay, I get materials from Awesome. Is there anything about these traits in the library? Plenty of spells. Guide to combat. Spell gems. Rituals. Gods. Realms. Wow, <laughs> a lot of information. Castle quests. Artifacts. I'm probably missing something really easy. It's probably just in my face somewhere. Uh, no rules. Buffs. What does Scorn do? Cannot attack! Override silence. Holy cow! I just got a gem that does that. Breeding uh, combinations. Mastery. Okay, Scorn is cannot attack. That's actually... Um, all creatures are afflicted with scorn for three turns. <laughs> All creatures. Ah, that's also my creatures, I guess. Um. Hmm. 
they can't attack, so that's probably really good for a casting group. Interesting. Um, do I want to get rid of that light guy? I do probably have the... Yes, I do have quite a bit of materials now. Skeleton Sniper. The creature attacks have 50% chance to deal 1, 2, 5 more damage. That's actually quite nice. Just one-shot everything. But I also like this golem. Because then I can extract things and just experiment a little bit. I think I'll try that. Thank you. Has been sent to this table. Mm. Oh, there he is. Hello. Right, let's talk to this guy. Uh, first. And he has an artifact, so then I can get rid of him. Leave a creature here. Sorry, Valkyrie Scout. I will take my... Hmm, this one. And I will equip him with... The Yeah, let's do this one. Start battle with Grace. Not bad. Perfect. Alright. Let's do one more realm and then call it a day. Alright, first maybe get a ritual done. But first we have to talk to Habram. Okay, <laughs> yes. Discussion must be saved for another time. Information from a trustworthy source that King Andric, yes, the late King of Nex, has been spotted roaming the path of the damned. We... So I guess we know who to attack. We can get an a chef. That's new, I think. The chef can cook meals for you. Creatures to count and temporary boost in combat. Cool. Enchant your artifacts with new properties. I'll go for the chef, just because he's new. And now we need to kill some stuff. Realm number five. Here's some pirate skeleton god thing. Freedan, god of the sea. Where the dead ships dwell. Ooh, I'm underwater. Cool. Nice. Uh oh, a haunted mask. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, he destroyed them and he gives me favor. Why not? Yay, new creature. Uh, you have to die. <laughs> 335. What the hell? Rapture is cool. Alright, so let's ex Nice. Perfect. There we go. Oh, he had to extract. Then he would have changed. Into a death golem. Well, next time. Here we go. Ooh, what is that? It's a guy with a lot of dogs or something. Diabolic Horde. Takes 5% less damage for each Diabolic Horde fighting on your side. Heh. <laughs> this trait does not stack. Hmm. So that's like 6, 30% damage. Oh, cool. Alright, let's attack. Well, they all have Grace, which is a bit annoying. Let's kill this one first. And then this one. Oh. Okay, at least I miss. Um, stronghold can attack. You're not allowed to attack. Uh, you can uh, defend. I want to 
extract it with my golem. Just because. A little bit of experimentation is not bad. Yay, shell. <laughs> Yay. Um, defend. Extract. Ooh, a magma golem. Cool. What does a magma golem do, actually? After this creature is attacked, it afflicts enemies with burn for five turns. Hmm. I guess that's good, but everybody should be attacking my stronghold. So... Unless I get rid of my stronghold and give this guy something with provoke... Otherwise it might not be completely worth keeping this golem. So many possibilities! Ooh! Aich! Uh. <laughs> nope! Coins! Hold as much fulfilling acquisition when you can take it to your grave. I think I also have quests here, right? No, I don't. Ah, because the god already left, yes. Um. Well. I, did I already have a unicorn? No, I didn't. Well, let's extract it. Perfect. Alright, so we actually are getting a lot of creatures already. Even though there are like 500 something, so... It's going to be crazy choosing what to use at some point. Yay, thank you, Freedom. For giving me favor for doing nothing. Crystal... Goat. It's walking around there. Huh. Ooh, one of those quiz dudes. What class does the flailing manticore belong to? Heh, <laughs> I have one. I don't know, sorcery? Nope. Heh, <laughs> I actually have one, don't I? Ah, it's chaos. Yes. Oh well, next time. Eh. Uh, let us get rid of this one first. Because he does a lot of damage. Then... This guy... Yes. So I think I might fast forward a bit so you don't have to watch all these battles. Treasure chests, look at this. Ooh, nice. Gem of Decay, target artifact is ignored for the rest of the battle. Do my enemies also have artifacts? Hmm. 1000 brimstone, awesome. Good to have. Ooh, this armor actually looks quite nice. Extra maximum health, more damage dealt to sorcery, defense, power gained in battle, brimstone gained in battle, less damage taken from sorcery, granite gained in battle, start battle with barrier. Hmm, interesting. If I would give that to my golem and then get rid of my fortress and just give him provoke all the time, that might be nice. another one of those golems. I might actually try to collect that so that I can get another type. 
Uh, well, then you have to defend or try to extract. Why not? You can try to extract. You can attack. And you can extract. Hey! Okay. Just make an army of golems. Alright, I think that was it for now. We've been playing for quite a while, so I'll put the episode to a close. I hope you had fun, and see you next time!